Conflict. Not something most people like. Some of us relish it, we run into it, we love it, and probably people don't love us maybe as much as we think we do when we do that too often. The word conflict conjures up all kinds of feelings, thoughts in people's minds, and this leads us to move away from it. But if we are afraid of conflict in a particular situation with a particular person or group of people, then that probably means that the conflict is necessary. It probably means that conflict has high stakes. It probably means that there's going to be high emotions in it, even if it's just ours. And these things maybe make us step away from it. But what if we flip that mental model? What if we do what a leader, a CTO, said to me yesterday, which was, let's not think of these like conflict situations. Let's not be afraid of getting a frosty reception. Why don't we just see these as crucial conversations? Conversations that need to happen. Conversations where the stakes may be high and the outcomes necessary and emotions may be fraught. But if we flip it to say, do you know what, this is a conversation that needs to happen, then what does that do to us? What does that do to our motivation to have the conversation? Well, I think one of the major things it does, it stops us avoiding it. If we believe there's going to be conflict, then we move away from the conversation. We move away from her wanting to have it. But if we say, look, this needs to happen, this is crucial, forget the conflict side of it. This is just a conversation that we need to have. Then for many of us, that can motivate us. That can take that anxiety, that fear that we've got, and it can channel it into actually make, taking steps forward, having those necessary high stakes, high emotion conversations to get clarity, to get agreement and get alignment. And when we have those, when those emotions are spoken about, when those thoughts are out in the air, when we're brave enough to have those real necessary essential conversations and we just forget about the whole conflict thing and just change our mental model. It means that we can get more people behind what we want to achieve. We will find it easier to get behind what other people want to achieve and we'll find that we'll build stronger, happier, more sustainable relationships. So from a really, really cold morning and I'm standing at my t-shirt for some stupid reason, I hope this has been useful and do let me know what you think on this idea of, us, of thinking about not conflict but actually essential, necessary, crucial conversations and what that does for you. Does that make you more willing to face up to it? I look forward to hearing from you.